I would like to welcome you to our video tutorial on how to create your own website using yola.com. Your first step would be go to website and click login. If you have not created a username, you could start one up right over here using your school email address. It is completely free. You can go ahead and log in here. Once you've logged in, it's going to bring you to your home page, per se, where it shows you all your different websites that you have created. I'm going to go ahead and go up here to create new site. Click on that. And it's going to ask us to choose a category. For this assignment, I'm going to choose educational. And then it's going to want us to create a name for our site. Now this name is going to be used on the top banner and other parts of our site, so you might want to name it something maybe what your project is going to be on. I'm just going to name it test. Now, here they're going to offer you to put some of these pages in. You can either turn them off or turn them on. These are going to be sub pages. I'll leave them all on for now. You will be able to add your own later if you'd like. We don't need to have them ask us any more questions. We're going to skip right to making our site. Now our site is loading here you notice that it generates a few different things for us. And we have many options that we can change. We can change our layout here, which we're going to go ahead and do first. And we're going to go ahead and make something maybe a little bit more interesting. So if I go up to style, change style, this is going to allow us to change our color, background, things like that. And we come over here to the bright ideas. You notice it is free. I'm going to take a look. This looks like what we want, so I'm going to hit continue. Now it has updated our site to represent our background. You can change it at any time, and it'll just keep your content and just change this color scheme and banners. You can change this banner if you'd like. You'd have to go onto a program like Photoshop or find a new image on the internet and add it. Now, this is a web 2.0 interface, which means all the software is on the internet. All these things can be dragged and drop and move around down here to help you create your website. You can also delete them by clicking on the X next to them. Yes, we would like to delete this widget. Let's go ahead and delete them all for right now. Now, to add a new one, all you do is come over here to the basic one. Say you want to add some text. You drag and drop. Just click on it and you can start typing. Now if you don't want the dual columns or anything like that, if you go up to layout, you could change the view to two columns. Yes, we'd like to save. And you could change it back and forth. You can also drop in a picture. And it's going to prompt you in a second here to upload a new image. But you can upload, browse your computer, and upload an image of your own for free. You have up to one gigabyte's worth of data space on the free account. You can also drop column dividers, HTML. This would be useful if you want to drop one of these in. Maybe you want to put a YouTube video in. If you go on to youtube.com and click the embed code, you can copy and paste that code right here. And when you hit save, it'll drop that video right in for you. File, same thing, drag over. You can browse your desktop or anywhere on your computer, upload the file and put it on there so people can download it. Now other options over here are multimedia. You can add search engines such as Flickr, an MP3 player, all different ones to go through and take a look at. Now, the save is the most important part. Save often. If you go idle, it'll, it'll let you type and then when you click save, it'll say your session has expired and none of your data will be saved. So every so often, click save. Now, refresh. Just refreshes your screen to changes that you may have made. And preview brings up what your site is going to look like without any of the borders or anything. Just shows you exactly what your site is going to look like when it's published to the internet. Now, to publish your site to the internet, once you get it all done or get it to a point that you like it, you come up here and you click publish to the web. Okay, and then publish my site. Then it'll ask you to create a URL. You can create a free site as long as you use the yola.com truncated version.
If you wanted to create your own, your own .com domain name, you could purchase one through them. Now, so let's get back to editing. Say we want to edit text. If we click on the text, it brings up our standard tools here that you'd see in Microsoft Word. If I can highlight the text here, if I click the first option, let's just change the font. And the next one, let's just change the size. There's a couple different ways to change the size here. We can do it either way. You can change the color. Any standard operation that you can do in Microsoft Word, you can do on here. You can center the text. Say you wanted to add another text, but you accidentally dropped it over top of this one, but you want it on the bottom. All you have to do is click and drag, and you can rearrange your site. Lastly, we have sub pages up here. If I click on them, it brings us to different sub pages on our website. To change them, all we have to do is go to Edit Navigation to change the ones that are already there. Edit, edit Labels, and we can change the names to whatever we'd like. Or, we can add a new page. By hovering over it, it brings up the menu, and we can add a new page to our site. Well, that's going to just about get you ready to start going here. Make sure to save often, and have fun, and explore the program. Thank you.